and welcome back to Gapy's Grill Room. Today we're going to start in the room that I have the grow tent in. And these are the ones that are six, between 14 and 16 week old. And let me turn off the LED light here. Um, so these are the Capsicum Chinense varieties that I started in January. And I mentioned in the last video that some of the peppers were getting these kind of burning looking marks on the leaves. And I'm still not positive what it is, but I think it might have to do with the LED light that's in here because it is the strongest LED light that I have. It's 300 watts and none of my other peppers are showing this kind of, of damage. Um, so that's my only guess. I tried to make it as high as I possibly could. Um, so I've got it kind of rigged up there to the top of the grow tent. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is invest in a 300 watt light that has a dimmable light on it. That way I can reduce the intensity and hopefully that won't happen again. But otherwise they look pretty healthy. Um, these ones are still looking a light, little bit lighter green. I haven't been giving them that much fertilizer so I started um, giving them some of the Dr. Earth liquid fertilizer. So hopefully that will help with the the slightly yellowing leaves of some of the varieties. But it's only a couple varieties that are doing that. The Nebru 7 is one of them. And then the Alyssum Scotch Bonnet is also um, a little bit lighter green than I would like. And the Peter Reapers are still a pretty dark um, purple color leaf. So I've got two of those, actually three of those. Um, these two are in the solo cups. And then I've got another one over here that's not in a solo cup. And you can see the, the growth difference. Actually, I didn't, I didn't top the one in this container, um, and then I have another one that I didn't top in the in the solo cup, so I didn't top this one either. So you could see um, the growth difference between the two. So the one in the solo cup is a little bit bigger than the other one. Um, so I do think they grow bigger using the solo cup method. And let's see what else do we have. So let me show you some roots. So this is the gator jigsaw back here. I'll just show you how much roots are in the bottom of the cup. So normally if you didn't have these in a solo cup, these would be swirling around inside the cup. So they do have a lot more room to grow roots when you have them sticking out the bottom. And they're actually really easy to get out of the solo cup. Um, they're not They're not tangled up too badly. You can easily unswirl those when you transplant them and I'll do a video when I go to transplant these and show you how easy it is to get them out of the cup without breaking um, any roots and let's see so I've stopped topping any plants because we're getting on probably I'm thinking in about a couple weeks I'll probably start acclimating these and I don't want to top any more plants because then that'll really set them back so anything that I, I've got several plants that I haven't done any topping to and I'm not going to. So anything that's not topped is going to stay not topped. Um, let's see. So this here is the black, what's it called? The black panther. So that's another one that it had really dark leaves in the beginning um, and it still got some dark leaves in it. But I'm liking, I do like the way that one looks. And then... If you want to know when I water, so I wait till the leaves start looking about like this. So you can, they're kind of floppy, they're not very stiff. So that's, that's a telltale sign that you should probably start watering it. And when I water it, I just take the top out and then I just add a little bit of water into the bottom. And I've got some nutrients here. So what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of the nutrients in the bottom of the cup just a little bit and then I'll fill the rest with water and it doesn't take very much so you just want it to go not even covering the rock there so that's how much I water and then I'll put this back in and put it back and that's how I do my watering um, sometimes I'll go through and I'll just lift if it feels really light, then I'll know it needs water. So this one is a little bit light. Um, but normally I could tell just by looking at the plant if it needs water or not. Um, one 
let's look over here under this this light so these I have these under LED lights as well um, but they're a different type of light so the, this one here is a panel and then this one here is actually this one's called the easy bright and I just got this one um, in the last week and it just fits into a regular light bulb fixture so I've got this on a clamp light that I use for my chickens um, when they're babies but here I've got my three pepper in a can peppers and I forgot to show these in the last couple videos I think but this is how they're doing this one is the the mini bell and it's growing a little bit crooked I might stake that up to straighten it um, but it's the tallest one so far and then I've got this one's the hot pops purple and this one's just got all kinds of buds on it and I've been trying to pick them off but it's really hard to keep up with with all those and then this one is the the mini bell this one's got a few buds on it as well um, but they're not really growing too fast because there's not really a whole lot of room in these cans so I'm not sure how some people get them to grow so tall um, and then I've got a couple of the ricottos over here so the ricottos aren't doing as well as I had hoped some of the bottom leaves have have started turning yellow like you can see this one is a little bit yellow and then they just fall off um, so I'm not sure what's going on with with the ricottos and there I have four different varieties and all four of them are kind of doing that and the leaves are curling under a little bit so I've got two of those under this LED light and then I've got two under fluorescence to see if there's any difference and I'm not sure both of them seem to be doing about the same so let's go into the other grow room and I'll show you those plants Okay, so here are the, the ones under the fluorescent lights and here's the ricottos and you can see they're kind of looking a little bit similar. The one in the back has lost a lot more leaves than the front one and there is some new growth coming out where the, the leaves dropped out so maybe it'll be okay but the leaves are still curling in a little bit so I'm not sure what's going on with, with those guys. And then I've got all the these are all ones that I started back in February, so they're not super hot ones. Um, we've got the Korean gochu back here. I've got two of those. And then the Trinidad perfume, I have one of those and one of the Ahi Fantasy back there. Both of those are doing pretty good. And then we've got the mini bell. So this is the mini bell that I'm growing in the pepper in a can. You can see how much bigger it is than the canned pepper. And I've got two of those the other one back here is just about doing it as well and then we've got lemon drops so I've got two of those and I've topped both of those and this one's doing um, a lot better than well, a little bit better than the one in the back and I just watered the one in the back so the leaves are kind of floppy still um, and then we've got the the paprikas I've got two varieties of those the Luchenhauer and the Alma paprika and both of those are doing good and then we've got the Sugar Rush Striped. I've got three of those left and um, some of them are starting to get some buds that I've been trying to chop off. And then we've got three Ahi Mango Longs. And I just topped, this is the last pepper I'm going to top. I topped that one today, so I'm done topping. No more topping. So those are the Ahi Mangoes. And then the Apache. Actually, the Apache is one of the ones that I had in the pepper in a can. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned that one, um, but that is one of the peppers in there. And then here's the Hot Pops Purple. And the Hot Pops Purple has got tons and tons of buds. There's no way I can pull all those off because there's so many. And then we've got the Habanada. That's the habanero looking pepper, but it's a sweet pepper. And I've got four of those left. And then we've got Thai Cluster. So this is a Thai variety that grows in big clusters of peppers. So I'm looking forward to that one. And then this tray has all my Kang Star crosses. So this is the Kang Star white tie. And I have two different seed sources for the Kang Star white tie. I've got one from Jay, um, Jersey Shore. And then I've got another one from Batman. So the ones from Jay, it looks like they're a little bit more bushy. So you can see how, how bushed out those are. And then the ones from Batman are not quite as bushy. So 
I'm only going to grow one variety, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to grow yet. Um, but I do like the, the way this one is turning out. Um, and then I've got the Linzo. So I only have one of those, and it's looking pretty good. And then we've got, let's see, I showed you the, the Rakotos. And the only peppers I have else are down here under this LED light. And these are the ahi tangerines. And look at how big the leaves are on this guy. So this is the one that's Susan Garza's cross. And I'm not sure what the, it's a cross of. I don't think she's, I think it's a secret or maybe she doesn't know. I'm not sure. But um, those are both looking really nice. Um, but they're, these are ones that I haven't topped. So they're growing a lot taller than the other ones. So that's why I have it down here under this. Um, it's a white LED panel. Um, and then I've got a, a Moringa down here um, that I'm trying out. But that's all we have for the peppers for this time. In a few more weeks, they're going to be going outside. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.